Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is my GCSE level tricky question. Uh, these are all going to be grade nine type questions, and they're all going to be those types of questions that you get right at the end of the paper for big marks, and they're the trickiest topics. And here is a particular tricky one. So this is question 24, and it says an arithmetic sequence has first term of eight. Fantastic. So I know that a is equal to eight. And it has a common difference of 11. D is equal to 11. My lucky day of getting all the information here. And the sequence has k terms. So n is equal to k, where k is greater than 21. Interesting. It says the sum of the last 20 terms of the sequence is 10,170. Find the value of k. Right, very tricky because they are asking for the sum of the last 20 terms. So the best way in order to visualize what's happening here is to kind of draw a number nine and to imagine all of your terms. Well, we're gonna start off when n equals one. That will be the first term. And then we'll have n equals two, n equals three, n equals four, n equals five, n equals six. We have all the terms up to the last term, which will be n is equal to k. And we can do a formula to work out all of these terms. In fact, you're given this formula in your formula booklet. And that will give me all of the terms added together up to k. Uh, and in fact, we could do that now. So the green um, collection of terms summed together will be using the summation formula, which I'll write down here uh, in case you're unfamiliar with it. But this is given in your formula book. Looks like this. So all those terms, all k of those terms would be k over 2, 2 lots of a, well we know a is 8, so that makes 16, plus k minus 1 multiplied by d, which is 11. Okay, great. So we can simplify that, and I can write that as k over 2. Um, let's multiply out this little mini bracket. I'm going to get 11k. I'm going to get minus 11, and we've got the plus 16 there, so that makes plus 5. So that's equal to 5.5k um, squared um, plus 2.5k. Uh, Okay, so that's all of the terms up until the k term. But that's not what we want, is it? We want the final uh, 20 terms. So, well, let's imagine that the final 20 terms look something like this. So that would start here at the term k minus 20. And then it would go k minus 19, k minus 18, k minus 17, all the way up to k. So those would be the final 20 terms. Okay, well, I can't work that out because I can only start at the first term. But what I could do is I can look at the blue section here. So what's that? Well, that is the sum up to k minus 20. So I would quite like to know what that would equal to, because I know this one over here equals 1070, but I can't get an algebraic expression for it. But what I can do is find an algebraic expression for the light blue terms. So that's going to go, k minus 20 is going to be the, uh, the position over 2. And then 2a again is 16. And then we're going to do plus k minus 20 minus 1 multiplied by d, which again is 11. Okay, so we can simplify this. Uh, I'll have k minus 20 over 2 still. But inside the bracket, what am I going to get? Oh, I'm going to get this k minus 11, sorry, k times 11 again. I'm going to get minus 21 times by 11. Should know that, but don't want to make a mistake. Uh, 
so that's 231. That's minus, sorry, minus 231. And then we're going to add on 16. So we're going to get minus uh, 215. Okay, so let me just rewrite that as one half multiplied by k minus 20 multiplied by 11k minus 215. Now I've done that such that it's just a lot easier to multiply out this double bracket and now I could do the half afterwards. Okay, so that's a half times by this double bracket multiplied. So we're going to get 11k squared. I'm going to get minus 20 times by um, 11k which is minus 100 um, and 20, minus 220. And then I'm also going to get minus 215k. So minus 215. So I'm going to get a total of minus 435k. And then I'm also going to get just 20 multiplied by 215. Both negative, but when we times them, they'll become positive. Okay, fantastic. And now I'm going to half this. So I'm going to get 5.5k squared. I'm going to get minus 217.5k. And I'm going to get plus 2150. Okay, great. So now I have the expression for the green and for the blue. I can now write an expression for the purple because clearly you can see from this diagram that the purple is equal to the green minus the blue. So that's what I would do. So I'm told that the purple, uh, in the question, we're told that the purple is 10,170 and that's going to equal the green which is this, uh, minus the blue, uh, which is this. And if you like this content, then please do consider subscribing and I'll make more. Yay. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here, well, we're going to cancel these because we've got one, they're the same and we're taking one away from the other. I'm going to have a total of 2.5k and I am then going to um, minus minus, so plus 217.5. So that gives me 220k. And then I'm also going to minus um, 2150. And all the while that's equal to this. So add that over to that side. A mental math today has been pretty shocking. Apologies, but calculator has uh, saved me. So one two three two zero is equal to two two uh, zero k. So therefore, we should find k. And fingers crossed, this is a whole number because it has to be a whole number. If it's not, we've made a mistake. Bosh. And that is five of your very best IGCSE Edexcel marks um, and that is the final question on the paper so super tricky hope you enjoyed it and if you did like this video and I'll make more of them bye for now